everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today. On Wednesday, I put up a video talking about the diff my different tips and tricks that I use to apply concealer. So it does increase for on our 60 year old plus eyes. In that video, I talked about how I wasn't going to talk about specific concealers, but rather just giving you the tips and the tricks and I said that today on Saturday I would tell you which concealers or give you some suggestions on the concealers that I use that just have worked exceptionally well for me. I am going to talk about both the drugstore and the higher end concealers and I do have one special mention. I'm going to start off with my drugstore concealers but I'm not going in any particular order kind of sort of. The first one I want to talk about is by Revlon and this is the Candid Concealer. This concealer has antioxidants and anti-pollution properties to it. It also is a medium coverage and what I like about this concealer is the great ingredients that it has. It is not, in my opinion, it is not a total full coverage concealer, but it does contain caffeine. It helps tremendously with the puffiness. It, it just goes on beautifully. I've never had any problems with this concealer. Oh, I'm showing you the back. Uh, it has nothing synthetic. It has no fragrance. It is a really light consistency. It moisturizer and it has sufficient pigmentation to really brighten up the under eye. This, let me just show you. Oh, this concealer has a doe foot applicator. As with all of the concealers that I'm going to talk about, a little goes a long way. You just need, like I said on Wednesday's video, and I'm going to leave that video linked down below in case you missed it, but I just, with all of these, I do exactly the same thing. I, one, one little dot in the inner corner and then my other two dots as I explained in that video. For the next concealer that has been working exceptionally well for me from the drugstore is by Makeup Revolution. This is the Hydrate, uh, what, what's this called? Conceal and Hydrate. I have the foundation as well from, from this new line. Okay, this is the Conceal and Define, but I've got the foundation also from this Conceal and Hydrate. I don't care for the foundation in the new one. I prefer for foundation purposes, I prefer the Conceal and Define, but I think this one works exceptionally well, especially for those of us that have a very dry under eye. This concealer, just like the other one, has a doe foot applicator, and it is a large doe foot applicator. Once again, a little goes a long way. This concealer contains hyaluronic acid and it is a medium to full coverage. Like the rest of them, it doesn't settle into your fine lines. And if you just do that padding motion, you're going to see how beautifully this concealer works. The best thing I think about this one is how hydrating it is. The next concealer is my full coverage concealer from the drugstore and it is the L'Oreal Infallible. I cannot stress enough how much a little goes a long way with this concealer. I guess it's the same applies with any of our full coverage concealers. This one is waterproof. It lasts all day. One thing I really like about this concealer is that because it is full coverage, we can use it also for little spot treatments. We could use it, have a different shade and use it for contouring. It is a, did I tell you that it's waterproof? Yeah, it's waterproof. I really, really like this concealer. If you need a full coverage concealer, if you don't want to use a color corrector, I would go with this one just because of the full coverage that it has. Start out with just a little bit is my suggestion and then work your way up. If too much of this concealer is applied right from the get-go, I think that's when the really the creasing is going to start and where it's going to settle into the fine lines. But if you apply it and pat 
and if you enjoy using a powder after your concealer to set it in I would say before as soon as you apply it, make sure you tap out any creases that you might see and immediately right then and there, go ahead and set it. I do use a powder sometimes. I use that e.l.f. HD under eye powder. And I have found that if I wait a little while, that gives the concealer time to go into our smile. Any faces that we might make, giving somebody the eye roll or something. Before we do any of that, let's go ahead and add some powder. For my full coverage, of, not my full coverage, for my drugstore concealers, I'm going to start out with one that I have been using for a long time. I really love this concealer and this is by Too Faced. I used the Too Faced concealer before these, uh, with, this is the Conceal, Contour, Highlight, and Retouch one. I used their previous one, and I'll tell you what the difference is between them. This is a full coverage concealer. It is very hydrating, and because it is a full coverage, we want it a little goes a long way, just those uh, few couple of drops. What I like about this concealer, as you can see, I have a lighter shade, I have a darker shade, and I have an even darker shade for the summer. But you can use this for contouring. I have even used this one for as a foundation. For those days that I'm just running around and I just want to do something very quick, I'll use the one in sand, uh, I'm sorry, I used one in mocha for as a foundation just a little bit and spread it out with my beauty sponge and then I use the other one the lighter one for my concealer this goes on smoothly there is no creasing it is just beautiful both as a concealer and as a foundation it's also hydrating I really feel that this is a, a beautiful concealer that wears real exceptionally well on my mature skin and you could use it also for the as a foundation or contouring as I said the difference between this one and the first one that was out is that the first one that was out is more radiant this one tends to be a little bit more matte if you like more radiance go with the first one it does the same thing as far as the concealer, as far as it not settling into your fine lines or wrinkles, but it has that bit of radiance to it. My next concealer that is in the higher end is fairly new to me. I've only been using this one. I believe I, I purchased it right when it first uh, came out on Ulta. And this I is the Estee Lauder Hydro prep concealer what you get on this concealer is a hydrator on one end and then you get your concealer is on the other end this is a natural satin matte finish what I like about this concealer is that it does have that hydrator on the other end I feel that that hydrator is what really prevents what my concealer from settling and from creasing. As many of you know, those of you that have been with me for a while, I used a Smashbox hydrator when I use all of the other concealers and I think this is truly one of the reasons why my concealer doesn't settle and doesn't go into my fine lines because of the hydration that I get from the Smashbox hydrator. If you don't want to go that route this is a good route to go to because with this Estee Lauder one you you're already getting that hydrator and it does work well I don't think it works as well as the one from Smashbox but I think it does a very good job in hydrating the coverage on this concealer is a medium coverage if you just need a medium coverage this is a great concealer to go with if you if you are looking for medium coverage hydrating this is a beautiful concealer. This concealer has also been on my top favorites for such a long time and it is by Armani. This is the stretchable concealer. Love this concealer. It is a medium coverage. In my opinion, it is a medium coverage. If I am needing more coverage, I'd rather go 
with a full coverage concealer rather than taking a medium coverage and start packing it on, if that makes any sense. This concealer gives you incredible coverage. It is matte. Once again, a little goes a long way. This isn't heavy. It has a fairly thin consistency. I prefer concealers that have a thinner consistency. If they don't have a thinner consistency, that's when I go in and I mix it and I mix it with my eye creams and that never fails. I think that it looks beautiful. It is a, it gives your your under eye that smooth look. It's also a long lasting concealer. If you have deep dark circles, you may want to use a corrector with this one as opposed to um, some, as opposed to the Too Faced that will give you a little bit more coverage. For example, the, the next concealer is really an honorable mention because I haven't been using it that long, but I think it does a phenomenal job. After I purchased this, I had this in my drawer. I purchased it during the 21 days of beauty and I didn't, I hadn't used it. I think I, I pulled it out about two weeks ago and oh my gosh, my heart went pitter pat. This is by Bare Minerals. This is a complete coverage serum concealer. This contains serum in it. So it just gives you that smooth look. I have really had to force myself to be rotating my concealers because this is the one that I just wanted to pick up. It has properties that nourish the skin. There's no need for a corrector in my opinion with this concealer because it instantly, instantly covers any darkness that you can have. It blends beautifully. Just to round everything off, it has a light consistency. What else can I ask for? Beautiful, if you're in need of a concealer, this is one that you may want to reach for because of the properties, because it does offer that coverage, because it, it does have the serum. I don't think that you even need to use the hydrating primer with it, even though I do, because I have it and why not? But it is absolutely beautiful, beautiful concealer. I know that some of you like to use the stick concealer. So I wanted to mention these two. One is from the drugstore and one is a higher end concealer. And they are stick concealers. My big thing with a stick concealer is that they don't tug. I talked about it in, I think it was in my five products from the drugstore worth checking out. This one from CoverGirl, it does not tug. It is a I would say it's a light to a medium coverage. It doesn't offer that total full coverage. But if you just need a little bit of coverage and you like these stick concealers, this might be one, one that you might want to try out. The other one that I have is from Estee Lauder. I only found this, I've only been able to find it on the Estee Lauder website. I don't, the nice thing about this Estee Lauder is once again, it doesn't tug. It is a stick concealer that just, it glides on beautifully. It also has a ser a brightening serum on the other end. So you get your brightening serum on one end and this is brightening. You could use these separately. You could use them together. I like to use them together, but you apply that serum. Let me see where it is right there. You apply that serum, which gives that little bit of radiance, a little bit of hydration, and then with your concealer over it. You, this one offers more coverage than the one from CoverGirl. So if you're looking for a stick concealer that doesn't tug and does offer a bit more coverage, I think this one is a phenomenal one. It has been one of my favorite stick concealer concealers. The reason I like to have it is because I like to travel with it. I'd rather not go traveling, for example, with this Too Faced one. That is a, I think that's a glass bottle. <laughs> but this works perfectly. I don't have to worry about a mount or anything else. Let me look at my notes. Is there anything else that I forgot to tell you? 
No. If you have a favorite concealer, whether it's from the drugstore or it's in the higher end, I would, and I didn't mention it here, I would love for you to let me know so I could try it and I could share it with all the rest of the viewers. Or please share them and yeah, let me know which ones you like the best. All right, that's, I think that's all I've got for you today. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for visiting with me. Thank you for your comments and your likes and your thumbs up. Thank you. I, I truly appreciate every single one of you and coming and visiting with me, usually twice per week when I'm not traveling off somewhere. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. And don't forget, ladies, follow your passion, whatever it may be. I'll see you next time. Bye.